Greetings to all and welcome to this series of uh, videos on how to make things in a way that is simpler, easier, faster and better in Oracle Apex. But before going to the details of our demo, I would first like to show you how to delete things. For example, we want to change our database. We do not have a new schema because we are still in the testing environment. I can go and delete all the tables and all the views and all the objects of the database. Similarly, if I want to delete my uh, application, I can also delete it. Let's start by deleting the objects of our that or let's start by deleting our application or we can leave the application if we want and create a new application so we leave the application and we'll go to the sql workshop to delete the objects of our database since we do not have a new schema so in this we are going to choose the student marks database with all its objects we have its tables we have its links we can start by deleting the views so if i go to the views i see this view admin details and uh, if i want to delete it i can see here drop and uh, it will go admin details is dropped. Then we can go to the other one, lecture details, and I can also drop it. And that one is dropped. As simple as that. Let's click on drop. And uh, we are left with two of them. Okay, details. I'm also going to drop it. And uh, this one is dropped. From there, log in details. And it is also to be dropped. We drop it. And the last one to be dropped is log in details. And we also drop it. So we have dropped all our views. Uh, let's go and drop the tables i can go to tables and in the tables we can see the tables are here and if i click on admin can i see the dropping of the table is here i can drop it that's how you delete a table but the table admin depends on the table persons yes but is there anything else that depends on admin let's try to drop Maybe we'll get a message telling us that is data. That table has been dropped. Any other table that we like to drop is the table student and the table lecturers, but they depend on other link tables. So let's start with the links tables and drop this one. The link table courses is being dropped and it has been dropped. From now, we can go to the other link table, which is lecturers courses, and we can also drop it. We are starting by dropping the tables that are linked tables. From there, we have the table student, that is linked to the table person lecturers. We can drop any of them. Student, we can drop it. Is linked to person, so let's start with that one student. That is a link table, and drop the table lecturers. That is also linked to person. Let us drop it, and uh, it is being dropped. What are we left with? We have to drop now. These are independent tables, simple tables. Let us start by person not linked to any tab we can drop it 
and uh, it is gone and finally the table courses we can now drop it it's been dropped so all the tables are gone and we have database with no table what else do we have here we have views have been dropped indexes any indexes and indexes doesn't look like we have any index then we can go and check the sequences there are a few number of sequences yes that we can also drop admin sequence we can drop it here from there what are we left with course sequence sequence we can also drop it it's gone and then lecturer courses sequence we will also drop it and uh, lecturer sequence let us drop it we want to drop all the sequences all the tables all the views all the triggers to make sure that our database is blank and we can start all over for this new series of uh, presentation since we do not have a new schema the other alternative would have been to request a new schema from oracle apex and build a new database from that new schema this is the last sequence that we are dropping very good so now that we have dropped the views the tables the indexes any types that were defined no type any packages that were defined no package any functions no any triggers let's look at the triggers no triggers any database link no database link so our database is now empty and we can start to build our tables from zero all the objects we can build them from zero in the next videos we'll start building those tables thank you